Welcome to 2023's Top 10 Comic Book Covers. This is the Wild Card Round, sponsored by Mutant Beaver Comics. I'm Mike Spider Slayer. Welcome back to Comic Book Corner 2.0. If you love daily comic book content, if you love great cover art, if you love me helping you make decisions on what comic books to buy, guys, you came to the right place. Hit that subscribe button. So here we go, guys. This is the Wild Card Round. We're coming to the nitty gritty on 2023's Top Top 10 comic book covers. We've had our group winners and now these are the second place finishers within the groups and whoever wins this wild card spot gets that final spot for comic book cover of the year. So with that being said guys, let's dive into it. Remember only one vote per person and you gotta make sure you're descriptive in the comment section below. So here we go, here are the wild card comic book covers. All right, guys, so here we go. Kicking it off with Group 1 Wild Card. This is Batman issue 132, the Nathan Zerdy variant A. This is a great cover as you can see Batgirl searching for Catwoman. Catwoman's hiding in the alleyways there. Both characters look absolutely brilliant. I love how Batgirl's using her little flashlight searching for her. And Catwoman either could get found or she could, you know, pounce on Batgirl there. So great comic book cover. And if you want to see this one win, guys, make sure you vote in the comments section below. Like I said, no more than one vote per person. Moving on to Group 2 Wildcard, we have Marvel Voices Spider-Verse Issue 1, the 1 in 10 Giang Virgin variant. I love this cover when it came out. It's absolutely different from some of the other covers that we've seen traditionally throughout the year. We've gotten to see all our different spider characters here in this like pink psychedelic color. Uh, obviously, Spider-Punk definitely stands out as he's rocking out on the guitar there. Uh, great looking cover. It's got this like static energy around it. Great stuff here. If you want to see it get nominated for comic book cover of the year, guys, you got to make sure you vote in that comment section below. All right, representing Group 3 Wildcard, this is Superman Issue 4, the Lee Bermenho foil variant. This was a great cover when it came out as we get to see Superman changing into Superman. I guess I should have said Clark Kent changing into Superman as you see him revealing the S and there is a reflection in the window as you get to see a burning building and then you get to see the facial expression which I think is Lois behind him and she's like oh my god. I thought this cover was absolutely awesome. Again what's cool about these wild card books is there's a lot of different style books not necessarily just pinups so this was a great cover and if you want to see it get nominated for comic book cover of the year make sure you vote remember guys this is the last chance for these comic book covers representing group four we have spider-man annual issue one this is the gabrielle diotto variant this is a great cover as you get to see wolverine just basically kicking spider-man's ass and uh he's got the claws drawn out he's literally on top of him just like making sure maybe he's passed out or maybe <laughs> dead there you get to see spider-man's suit all ripped up and torn uh yeah you can totally see who won this fight so guys again if you want to see it get nominated for comic book cover of the year vote in the comic section below representing group number five we have ghost rider issue 18 the bjorn brendis main cover this is a phenomenal cover with Talia War Road and Ghost Rider. And you have Ghost Rider like kind of towering over her. You see him from behind her. Uh, but the detail of what goes into both characters looks absolutely phenomenal. You got to love the flame on Ghost Rider's head. Uh, just the little, again, the details on his skull, the smile, the eyes. And Talia looks very evil and demonic herself. I like the spikes on Ghost Rider's gloves and shoulders. A great looking cover. All right, so before we hit 
our group six representative, I just got to give a quick shout out to Mutant Beaver Comics. Guys, Mutant Beaver Comics is a global leader in exclusive variants with over 4,000 listings in their store. They ship worldwide on a daily basis and offer top-notch customer service. If you use my promo code CORNER10, not only can you save 10% off your first purchase, but remember, every other purchase after that. So guys, don't miss out on the exclusive comic book covers. Check out MutantBeaverComics.com. All right, representing group six here, the wild card winner was Supergirl Special Will Jack Variants. This was the book that came in second place for group six, so snag that wild card spot. But however, this cover is absolutely gorgeous as we have very soft art here. We got a nice sunset in the background or sunrise. We get to see Kara flying. Great muscle definition. You get to see the skirt. We get to see the... the um, cape and the hair all flowing through the wind i love this cover it's absolutely gorgeous so if you want to see it get nominated for comic book cover of the year guys again this is the last chance you have to vote for these comic book covers to grab that final nominee spot all right so before we call it quits guys i just gotta let you know who won group six and that wound up going to Sensational She-Hulk Issue 1, the Adam Hughes variant. This was the She-Hulk foil cover with her in the pool. So she grabs a comic book cover of the year spot. Will she win? Well, you're going to have to vote on it later on in the week. I'll give you the rest of the nominees on Friday. So there you have it, Webheads. There are the wild card winners. We'll find out who gets that final nominee in the nomination video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. And as always, guys, if you love my content, I'll leave you more content right here. In fact, this is my FOC video, letting you know some of the latest, the greatest, the hottest, the newest comic books getting ready to hit store shelves very, very soon. And of course, guys, support the local comic shops. Keep buying, keep collecting, but always remember, read those comics.